L to the O, V to the E, K to the I, N to the G. I don't know how they treat you, how they do it, where you at. But all I'm trying to say is you should know me like that. My name is Terrius Nash. I was born September 20th, 1977 at 4.30 p.m. in Rockingham, North Carolina. I didn't know exactly what I was going to be when I grew up. I mean, there was a lot of things that I liked. I thought maybe I could have been a firefighter or as a job, I guess, but I've always been creative. I always drew cars. It's a European car. I'm the dreams aunt. He was a beautiful baby. Terry used to come out to the house and they used to stay with us. We're a very close family, very tight. Me and my mom actually moved to Atlanta. It wasn't a small house at the time, 2082 Baker Road. Me, my granddad, and my uncle Elk built that. It's a pretty rough neighborhood. Most people that aren't from Atlanta, we call that Bankhead. In 1988, my house burned down. And at the time, I was staying with my grandfather. One reason being that I was a boy and my grandfather felt like I needed to be around a man at that time to watch our house be rebuilt and to watch how adamant and that my grandfather was about rebuilding it because of the history of what he had done. But it was good for me to see, you know, just because the shell of something is broken doesn't mean that um, the soul is. You know, he built the house actually better than it was before. In the summer of 1992, my mother was diagnosed with cancer. Didn't know at the time how serious it was, but that summer was already a big transition for me because they were closing my high school that I went to, which was West Fulton. So couldn't really get no worse. I never thought that I would lose my mom at the end of this year. After his mother passed away, his grandfather kept him and raised him. He provided him with most of everything he would ask for. I remember his grandfather bought him a set of drums and he would be back in his room playing the drum, learning about music. Who I am as a father, I take my responsibilities as a, as a father very, very heavy. I try to do the best that I can with what I have. I try to make sure that I can provide a, a better way and provide more choices and options for my children that are gonna come behind me. You know, life is from generation to generation building on choices. I'm done setting up your eyes. Putting it all inside of your computer, okay? okay so you have to wait till you're finished. You see that little blue? Yeah. When that blue gets all the way to the end, that means it's finished. I guess I want a TV. Yeah, exactly. If I had 10 choices in 10 directions I could go, then my children should have 100, and their children should have 1,000. That's basically what it is. Me knowing that the sacrifices I had to make, you know, with my grandfather working all day and my mother working, in no way deters me how to be a great father in anyone's book is set in stone or black and white. There's no real way to do it. There are only your gifts, your opportunities, and your choices to do the best that you can. Due to the pressure of what had happened with my mom, to just be more serious about life and my grandfather, you know, making sure that I understood that life could end, you know, make sure I take advantage of it or whatever the things are that I wanted out of life, I made sure that I put myself in a position to deserve them and to understand life itself and be willing to give up and sacrifice for the things I wanted and to sacrifice for the things that others needed. Two years after that, I would lose my grandfather. So in the span of five years, I have lost the two most influential people in my life. And that's when this music crusade began. Mm -hmm. 